and people. There is freedom in love. You don't have to force yourself to love people. Sa Bible, pero may kinasulit that God is love. And those who live and those whose lives is entwined sa ginoo are those who live in a life na may gugma. There is only one way to live our lives and that is to live a life of love. Kabudlay magkabuhi sa ngatong kabuhi that we are full of bitterness. We are full of hatred. We are full of uncertainty and fear. Kabudlay ina nga klase kabuhi. Because God did not intend us to live our lives that way. There is freedom in love. When God created man, He created man for a loving relationship. Right? Gin-create sang ginoo si Adam kag si Eve as an extension of a loving relationship between the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. And love requires freedom. Sino diri may ihado kag may ihada? Nakabaton ka mo text halin sa nanay, Bao, migo ang ihado mo diyo. Pila na katuwag, huwag ka kahatag, bala Christmas gift. Huwag ka gigadumdum, ano ka klase nga maninoy? Oh. Now, how would you feel kung makabaton ka mo si nga mo sina? Nga as if mahatag ka out of responsibility. Mahatag ka lang kay napilitan ka. Mabakal ka lang sa regalo para sa imo ihado kag ihada pero galain ang imo buot. Hindi agad yan malipay if you are doing things na hindi halin sa gugma. Love requires freedom. That is why one of the greatest gifts of God sa aton is freedom. Wala kita gin-create sang ginoo as robots. He gave us free will. That is why may namangkot sa akon, Pastor, nga agin butang pa sang ginoo ang tree of knowledge of good and evil. Now, the answer to that is this. So that man will have a choice. God said, you can freely eat. You see, freedom. You can freely eat from all kinds of trees in the garden. Isa lang ang pinapangayo ko. But the problem with man is that man chose to rebel against God. And they were separated actually not only from God's presence, but also from God's love. And so sin and death entered. And God did not mean for man to live in struggle and pain, but in love and Freedom. Life even started with a baby struggling to get out from his mother's womb. Pagwa mo palang kay nanay mo hibik na. And that is part of the fallen nature. And even the mother is struggling to give birth sa yabata. Sometimes ang birthday gina celebrate talang no ang nabata lang. Pero actually wala tayong gina celebrate ang labor's day sa nanay. Ani mag-greet ka muna kung birthday sang bata, greet ka man ng nanay, happy Labor's Day. Okay? Kaysa tuod lang, kabudlay mag-bata. Na-experience ko na. Okay? <laughs> sa kay misis. Okay, sa kay misis. Imagine, pagbata ni misis, wala na siya ka-English. Pero pagbata niya ka-English, that hurts. Okay. <laughs> Tawad ka grabe mo, naman mo yayaw ka, di ba la? Tula mo pagka Christian mo, di ba la? Pero are, uh, ang, ang ginoo did not intend pain and struggle to be part sa ngaton life. It entered because of sin and death. That's why one of the curses is ang child bearing my pain. That is why, because of sin, we are always looking for love. Because ang gin-design sa aton sa ngino is a loving relationship with him and with other people, right? And we always search for love and hunger for love. That's why mga young people natin subong nagutom sa gugma. They beg for love sa kalibutan. And only God's love in Christ can fill us. Because why? God is love. We were created from that love. And we were designed for that love. And until we find God's love back in our hearts, we can never truly live a life of freedom. Because ang sin always brings bondage. Magambal kita, bandage, you are controlled sang imo evil desires. And sin destroys you. And sin destroys your family. 
But God loves us so much. God infused a loving nature in us the moment we receive Christ. In fact, one of the indication nga tuduod ka nga Christian is this. Ay, dali lang. Ang title na anay galit sa nga ton nga, no? Nalingaw ko sa introduction ng title. Free to love God and people. How Jesus' love empowers us to freely love God and people. Now, 1 John 3.14 We know that we have passed from death to life because we love each other. Anyone who does not love remains in death. Ang hambal din ni John that one of the indications na bata ka sa, fam sa family sang ginoo is that you love each other. Love is one of the evidence nga tutuod ka man gid nga Kristuhanon. 1 John 4.16 And so we know and rely on the love God has for us. God is love. And whoever lives in love lives in God and God in them. If ang imo kaboy is full of hatred and full of bitterness and full of anger, then most likely you have not met the love of God in Christ or in short, you're not really saved that's what the bible says that's not my words because the moment you receive god's love the moment you receive christ you receive god's love kay sino ang gugma sang ginoo sino ang gugma sang ginoo but when the kindness and love of god our savior appeared ang gugma ko no nagpakita sa humanity and sino na siya Jesus is the love of God. He saved us. Not because of righteous things we have done. Wala ka ginluwas ang ginoo tungod kay buot ka. Tungod kay maayo ka nga klase ka tao. Hmm? He saved us not because of the righteous things we had done, but because of His mercy. He saved us through the washing of rebirth and renewal by the Holy Spirit. And so when you receive Christ, you receive God's love. And Christ is born in your hearts. Amen? That's Christmas. That not only Jesus was born in the manger, the moment you receive him, he was born in your hearts. And so love is also born in us. John 3.16, a very popular verse. For God so loved the world. That he gave his one and only son. That whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. Pero mini ginasulit ni Daddy, but nga ang ginahambal ni Daddy nga, you cannot love without giving. You could give without love, but you could not love without giving. And the reason why God gave his son Saturn, the reason for that is this. It is because of love. Love is the reason the Father sent his beloved son for us to die on the cross for our sins. There's no other reasons. And 1 John 3.16. John 3.16 kagina, so 1 John 3.16. And this is how we know what love is. Anong gitbala ang gugma? Love is like a poison that can kill a person. <laughs> love is blind. But the definition of love is this. This is what love is. Jesus Christ laid down his life for us. That is the essence of love. That the Father expressed his love sa aton and the Son willingly lay down his life for us. The greatest gift that you could give to someone, the greatest act of expressing your love to someone is to give your life for that one man. Ano pang ihatag mo? Kung ihatag mo na ang imo kabuhi. Jesus did not give something out of him. He gave himself for us. Amen? Grabe nga klase gugma. Love is the reason why our Father gave His Son for us. Love is the reason why the Son laid down His life for us. And listen, love is the very thing that the Holy Spirit shed in our hearts. Ang Trinity nag-work. 
Because again, the essence of God is love. Magamal kita essence ano? Sino dili kaagi hindi man pista minatay subong no? Pero sang pista minatay, sino dili kaagi puga sang ano na gani? Gata nan. Okay, kung pugaon mo ang buko, ang pinaka essence na gata. Right? That is the essence. Ang essence naman sang tao ya kung mapatay ang tao, anong essence ng tao? Dust. From dust you came to, dust you return. That's the essence of man. Sabaga, ang pinaka absolute gini mo. Now, God is love. That is why even the Holy Spirit poured this love <coughs> sorry, on our hearts. Medyo ka sakit ang akong tunlan. Ay hala, ano na yung lain manggit ni Goro, no? <laughs> Okay, naglaay na nga ako ng suludlan. Hmm. Ang ba't kong tugnaw man yun eh? Pahon na. <laughs> Laglaog lang. Gaan ko sa ng asawa ko, sa gift kay natakaan na siya sa pabati-bati ko. Okay. Ang hamal sa Bible, Romans 5.5. And this is a very good verse. And hope does not put us to shame. Because God's love, no, this is, God's love has been poured out into where into our hearts through the holy spirit who has been given to us when the holy spirit came into your life the moment you received christ right ano ko nang ginula sa imo tagipusoon ang gugma sang ginoo magamba kita ula wala man siguro sang solid nga bagay nga ginaula ang pour dira nga na namin niya is water Okay? Ginulaan kita sang gugma, sang ginoo. Nga ginambal ko na siya. Tanawan nyo, look at this. Ang hambal dira, Holy Spirit, right? John 7, 38 to 39, ang hambal dira, whoever believes in me, as scripture has said, ang hambal Jesus, rivers of what? Living water will flow from within them, your heart, from within you. By this he meant the spirit whom those who believed in him were later to receive. There is a connection between water and spirit and love. Please understand that. Because when Christ said that springs of living water shall flow from within you, it is referring to love. Bugmana gali ang gina na minya. And there is a river of love that flows from Calvary's tree. Because God expressed His love on the cross. While we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Water flows gracefully and freely, yet it is so powerful. Have you noticed ng tubig nga nagailig sa river? Hindi ni mo ginapuersa. It just flows freely, and yet my current siya. Amo na blambal nila, nga kung gapang luyag ka, bisan tig aka ayo ko nang tagipusoon sang babae, Sige, sige, halang. Kaya nga, ah, wala sing bato nga nagahumok. Nga, nga garimintig, ah, I mean, sa tubig, nga ga sige, sige, tulo. Water has a free form. Water is freedom. Just as love is. You don't force it to flow, it simply flows. Streams of living water shall flow from within you. And God wants us to go with that flow. To live our lives in love. To be loved and to love. Sino dili favorite niya si Bruce Lee? Tong-tong favorite siya gini. Ako favorite ko ni si Bruce Lee. And he is one of the greatest nga martial artists nga nabuhi. And he observed this sa water. Hambal niya, empty your mind. Be formless. Shapeless. Ano hambal niya? Like water. Tutunod ba? Okay. You put water into a cup, it becomes the cup. You put water into a bottle, it becomes the bottle. You put water into a teapot, it becomes the teapot. Now water can flow or it can crush. 
be water, my friend. Uh, idol nyo na si Bruce Lee, ay, pero hindi ako na. Ang ito ang balimit ni Bruce Lee. The water is formless. When you put water into the cup, it becomes a cup. When you put water into a jar, it becomes a jar. The water can flow, but the water can crush. Now, that is the picture of love. Where you live a life of freedom. Explain na nakon ko. Na expound na nakon ko. Kung anong meaning sina. Amen? Nangari. Hindi ito siya may mo reverse ha. Pasi mo lang yung resta niyo. Secular ito yan ang mindset. Kaya nang bago lang sa inyo. Nga kaka-observe mo na sa mga tao. Kaya ang ina nga principle. Okay? Now. Ang title sa mga wali is again. Free to love God and people. But ang balon. You don't force yourself. Kung gina-force ni mo, ang imo kagulingon to love, that is not love. Because lo again, love requires freedom. The way we serve God, the way we love God, hindi na siya dapat gina-pwersa ni mo ang imo kagulingon nga you're doing service out of responsibility lang. The religion will tell you that you have to do this, you have to do that. But hindi na gina-kilahangnan. Tato? Sang ginoo. Gap, dili ang potambal na kwao. Sa pulaw na ni Goro. Kinanglan? Okay, kinanglan. Okay. Now, Ari. Number one. Tatlo lang ni. Kaya ang balkulipot lang ni Mansay. God's love moves and causes you to love Him and others. Ang hambal sa Bible, herein is love, not that we love God, but that He loved us. Ang tutuod nga kristuhanon nga pagkabuhi, hindi aton gugma sa ginoo, but rather iya gugma sa aton. Amen? So we don't focus on our love for God. Our focus is His love for us because the source of love is God. God is love. Wala na kang balang Bible nga God has love, but rather God is love. And ang hambal sa 1 John 4.19, we love because He first loved us. Ano butang malunutod? That our ability to love Him and our ability to love people is based on His love for you and for me. Amen? Ano butang malun? The more you receive God's love, the more you love people and the more you love God. Ang atong gugma sa ginoo, gapalya na iya. Ang atong faithfulness sa ginoo, gapalya na iya. But ang iya sang ginoo gugma, His love never fails and it is you every morning. We love because He first loved us. And talking about the Holy Spirit, Galatians 5.22-23, going back sa rivers of living water, nga nag-flow sa aton. The fruit of the Spirit is love. Kaiti springs of living water man, damo, hindi lang Isa ka spring, but springs, but ang, I believe that the first spring is love. Ang pinakadako nga spring is love. And then ang subon, joy, peace, tandaan niyo ha, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control against such things, there is no law. Now, jump ka mo sa uh, Colossians 3.12-14. And tanawa na ito na nung connection. Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Kanami nga mga virtue, no? Okay? A compassion, a kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Now, verse 13, bear with each other and forgive one another. If any of you has a grievance against each other, against someone. Forgive as the Lord forgave you. Now, verse 14. Are. And over all these virtues. Ano po tambalon? Above all these virtues. Going back again. Ano nga mga virtues? Compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. In fact, ang patience is what? Love is patient. You see that? Love is gentle. Love is kind. Those are actually fruits pagid sang gugma. Kita ninyo? Nawari. Above all these virtues, put on love, ano ko nang ginahimu sa gugma, which bind, binds them all together in perfect 
unity. Sabaga ang gugma ang nagapapilit sa tanan nga ini nga mga virtues. Ano ba ang balon? Nga it is impossible to forgive apart from love. It is impossible to be kind without love. Amen? It is impossible to be humble without love. It is impossible to be compassion, compassionate, to be gentle, and to be patient without love. Love is the secret to forgiveness. Whatever grievances you have, anong sekreto on forgiveness? It is love. It is love that binds them all together. Without love, there is no joy. There is no peace. There is even no faithfulness. Above all, now these three remains, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of this is love. Amen? Now, ang ginapangayo sa aton sa gino is this, to be rooted, ang aton kabuhi to, is to be rooted sa gugma ni Cristo. Because again, the love of God is Jesus Christ. Are you? Ephesians 3.17 So that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. And I pray that you, being rooted and established in love. Ngang imo kabuhi, manggamot, hindi sa imo pagpalangga sa ginoo, kundi sa pagpalangga niya sa imo. Wow. Hanami, no? Hambal ni Jesus, John 5, 59. As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Now remain in my love. Ang context sa John 15, hambal ni Jesus, apart from me, you can do nothing. But if you abide in me, you will bear much fruit. Now, one of the fruits sa pag-abide kay Jesus is this. It is love. The fruit of the Spirit is love. So we have the capacity to love God and to love others because God's love is in our hearts. Amen? God so loved us. And so we freely love people and ang ginoo. Now, number two. Nasig lang, no? God's love empowers you to obey Him. Obedience. So, ano ko nang sekreto sa pag-obey sa ginao? Is it fear? Hmm. Is it guilt? Or is it love? Remember sang message about the law. The law requires you to do this and do that. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not lie. You shall not uh, murder. You shall not, you shall not. But love says, ang law says, I mean, you have to do it. But ang gugma naman, I want to do it. Ang law is about requirements. But ang love is about the power to obey what the law requires. Amen? Ano po tang balon? That the secret to obeying the commandments of the law is love. Because anything that you're not free to do is not love. This is carefully. Anything that you're not free to do is not love. Being forced is not love. Hindi ka pwede kang balsasawa mo ka, planggaaman ko, karon tirohon ta. Lugma na hindi. Love is not forced, but rather a force that empowers you to obey God. Amen? You don't obey God out of fear of judgment or out of a sense of responsibility. You obey God out of a sense of love because you know that God loves you and every commandment ka ginhatag niya sa imo is for your own good. Hapos mag-obey kung balaan mo ang concern ang nagasugo sa imo. Amen. Magambalang gino sa imo, hindi ka mamana. Believer, kabalo ay okay Lord. I know nga plangga mo ko. Pero kung hindi kaya secured sa gugmasang gino, kabudlay mag-obey sa gino. God has given us a new heart to respond and delight to His commandments. Ang, ang Ten Commandments is symbolized by stone. Right? Two cold stones, outward. But tanawan ninyo ang ginhimo as ang gino because no one can obey the law. Remember sang wali nagligat. Freedom from the demands of the law. So ang ginhimo as ang gino is this. Ezekiel 36, 26 to 27. I will give you a what? A new heart. And put a what? A new spirit in you. I will remove from you your heart of stone. Oh, pusong bato. 
Ah, binyo goro kung wala sa Bible na, no? <laughs> I will remove from you your heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. Ginis lang sa ginoong aton tagipusoon. Ang problema sa aton, ang aton tagipusoon. God is not concerned about your behavior. God is concerned about your heart. God is not into behavioral modification. God is into heart transformation. Ang unahon sa ginoosay mo is not your outward behavior and outward character. Ang unahon sa ginoosay mo ang imo tagipusoon. That's why the moment you receive Christ, ang hambaldera, you receive a new heart and a new spirit. And tanawan yung ginoobra sa ginoo. And I will put my spirit in you and move you to follow my decrees. You see that? Whatever the law requires, God in His love made it possible. Love is the fulfillment of the law. But the fruit of the Spirit is love. And ang sa punta? Against such things, there is no law. Ano po tambalo no tod? Are. When you are full of love, ang hambal sa Bible, you shall not murder. That's the law. But when you are full of love, bisan gaan ka pa kuchilyo, kagpusil, mamatay ka hindi. If you are a loving person, bisan suguon ka pa mamatay, if you are full of love, hindi ka gandiyan maghimo sina. You see that? Butang balon, if you are full of love, ang law is not applicable sa imo. Ano ang hambal sang law? You shall not kill. You shall not commit adultery and you shall not steal. For example, if you are full of love and full, full of joy, mga what hindi? Mamatay ka hindi. Mabinutig ka hindi. Utod, love fulfills what the law requires. Romans 13.10 Love does no harm to a neighbor, therefore love is the fulfillment of the law. Wow. You, you love to obey and follow His commandments because of God's love. You don't have to give. Please listen. The law says you have to give. But love says, I want to give. Do you know what's the secret sa cheerful giving? Ang hambal sa Bible, God loves a cheerful giver. But do you know what's the secret sa cheerful giving? The secret is God's love. I have lost a good friend. Nagligad lang yun. Nakasimba na din sa aton. And that friend of mine is very generous. May mga projects ko sa mga pastors, kag sa ibang mga churches, kadasig magbulik. And ang hambal niya, Pastor, hindi mo kailangan i-lista kung diin mo naging gasto, ikaw na dira bahala. I also have a friend sa US na lag ko ganyan maghatag. Isa ka pa dala 15,000. Kagwala sila yung kapahamu. Di na nagaduang warta. Wala na sila kaisip ya. Ano ang nagduso sa ila sa paghatag sa muna kadako ng amount? Gugma. It is not guilt. It is not responsibility. Ang balon ko kamutod. If you have experienced God's love sa imo tagi puso and if your heart is filled with the love of Christ, hindi mo yung mapunggan maghatag. Ang mga tao, nga bako ko, I tell you, there is a problem with their heart. Wala na nila na-experiensyahan ang gugma sang ginoo sa ila. Pero utod ang balon ko ka mo, kung na-experiensyahan mong gugma ni Kristo, wala ganyan issue ang kwarta sa imo. Amen? Bisan even sometimes na wala ka na bilhin, hatag lang yagyapon niya. That's freedom. You're not forced to do it. You're not forced to give. But there is a force na nagaduso sa imo hatag. Kaya kung gamay, hatag mo, wala ka pa nalipay. Ay, wala na ta talaga anda? Wala na ta alam mo tanda? Ikaw pa yung kapamilit, patag... Ano ko yun? Pamuta ko na ba? Pero kung salain mo espiritu, ay, may alam mo ta naman. Ay, kada ko, matos na natag ko siya man. You see that? God loves a cheerful giver and God's love makes cheerful giving possible. Amen? That's the secret. The love of Christ, ang hambal sa Bible, 2 Corinthians 5.14, For Christ's love compels us because we are convinced that one died for all and therefore all died. Ang word na compels dira. Ang word na compels dira. 
ang word na compels dira, meaning to be held by like a prisoner. Daw gin priest, so wag ko na sa gugmas ang ginoo, na daw hindi mo mapunggan nga maghatag ka, nga magbulig ka, nga magpalangga sa tawo. Sin o dire ka agi experience nga nabalaan mo nga may bululigan ka tapos hindi ka kabulig, kala ini mo buot. Have you experienced that? Nga may makita ka nga bululigan, why gid ko may mabulig ba kala in sang pamatyag ko? Ikaw pala bala naga ayo, tinga ah, the love of Christ compels us, it imprisons us. And ang Greek word sina is soneko. Hindi sineko ha. Okay. <laughs> Balda tada ya, yeah, okay. <laughs> Makumpel nga ganyan basta si Neko. Yeah, okay. Especially ko alam na sa gwa balay niyo ko pa nuktok na ulit daan ka na to. Uh, sa balay, kung mag-brown out gani, ang una, ang una ko nga gina-check ang tiyak balay. <laughs> kung gasiga man sila. Okay? Kay kung gasiga sila, laban-laban o daan na kami. Okay. Wala na yari. Ang meaning against ang Suneko or compel is to be held by like a prisoner. Compel means you can't help but do a certain thing. We are made a prisoner of love. Ano po tamalon? We are prisoners of freedom. Wow. Kanami isang kabuhi nga mo sina. And last, love empowers you to freely serve God and people. Ang service should be out of freedom, not again responsibility. And ang pagpalangga sa tao, hindi na iya ginapilit kusa na iya nga magwa sa imo. Ang habal ni, kilala niyo si Napoleon Bonaparte. One of the greatest conqueror sa bilog ng kalibutan. Ang ni Napoleon about kay Jesus. Alexander, Caesar, Charles the Great, and I have founded empires. But on what did we rest? The creations of our genius upon force. Jesus Christ founded His empire upon love. And at this hour, millions of men would die for Him. There is power in love. Paano makabatas ang nanay sa pagbuhi sa pilakabata? Ano ang sekreto? Gugma. Ang nanay ginauna pa ang needs ng bata. Ang asawa ginauna pa ang needs ng bana. Hindi nakabakal sang bayo niya, buslot-buslot na. Gugma ang sekreto. Love is a power and love makes you strong. Amen? What made Christ strong on the cross and finish sang yung sacrifice for us in spite of the pain, in spite of the insult? Ano ang naghold kay Jesus Christ on the cross? It was love. It was our sins that put Jesus on the cross but it was His love that made Him stay there because love is patient and love never fails. Christ did all things in love. This is the secret of service. Tanan nga miracles ni Jesus. Pero may gina, may isa ka phrase dira. Nga before i heal ni Jesus, ang isa ka ina nga tawo, may isa ka phrase dira. Nagahambal. He was moved with compassion. Halos tanan nga miracles ni Jesus gam balgin na dira sa text. And he was moved with compassion. And ang hambal ni John, tanawan ninyo. Ala, huwag ko na butang. Okay, basahon ko sa John 21, 25. Jesus did many other things as well. That is the last verse sa John. John 21, 25. Jesus did many other things as well. If every one of them were written, were written down, I suppose that even the whole world would not have room for the books that would be written. Ang hambal ni John, kung isulaton mo ko noong tanan nga ginimuan ni Jesus, wala sang libro nga makakontain bisan tanan nga libro sa bilog ng kalibutan. Nga ang aperti ang ginimuan ni Jesus just within three years of your life? What's the secret? It is love. You want to serve God more? Yes or no? Do you want to give more for God and for other people? Do you want to be a blessing? What's the secret? It is the love of Christ. That's the power. Love empowers us to serve Him and people. Ephesians 5, 1 to 2. Tapit lang kita ma-end. Be imitators of God, therefore, as beloved children. And walk in love. Ano mong bining sa walk? You live your life in love. Just as Christ loved us. 
and gave himself up for us as a fragrant sacrifici sacrificial offering to God. Now, tungod kay gin sakripisyo ko ni Jesus ang iya kabuhi para sa aton, we ought to live our lives that way. We are to serve him and other people. Serving involves giving. The giving of your time, the giving of your money, and the giving of your energy. energy. Kabudlay mag-serve. Kabalo ni mga pastor ko nga friends. Kaysa Amon Bible Study, ang common nga testimony, almost burn out na sa ministry. Utod, kung hindi gugma sang ginoho ang nagaduso sa imo, your ministry and your service to God will fail. Only love does not fail. Serving involves giving. It involves sacrifice. And the one who is secured in God's love can truly sacrifice for other people. Love allows you to freely sacrifice for others. Amen? To give without expecting a return. Pero may kunibatian, Mari. Especially bala ko maghatag ang church. Sometimes ang batian ko sa mga pastors, ay naghatag ko na siya sa kalibo. Ay, grabe, naghatag ko siya. Ako na yung nagbulig siya. And so sometimes galain buot mo kung hindi makabalik ang tao sa imo. Kagi pag ito nakabati, ay, ako na nagpray over siya. Maglakato siya sa abroad. Ba, wala agad ka dumdum sa tight siya ba? I'm not saying akong i-pray over ko. Kamu mo na ang, ano ha, kinexpect ko ha? Pero daw ang amo na. <laughs> Kalain, gidya ko, amo na yung imo mindset because love does not expect a return. Love does not seek its own. Love is not selfish. Amen? And it's hard to serve apart from love. Love gives you the freedom to think of others first. Unahon mong ibang tao. To consider yourself second. To consider others more important than yourself. It does not say, how about me? Or it should be me. Dapat ako. Love makes it possible to forget about your own hurts and losses. To give up something that you have for the sake of others. To take risk for others because love takes risk. To forgive though it hurts. Na nakapila ka na hurt sang asawa mo, sang bana mo, you still remain dira. Because love never fails. Grabe ang power sang gugma. To not reciprocate hate and hurt, love frees you from bitterness and anger. Amen? Free yourself. What's the secret? Love. Why? Okay, sorry. Dula naman. 1 Peter 4.8, Above all, love each other deeply because love covers over a multitude of sins. Ang nabalang habis na dumduman mo pa ang hurts mo, pero plangga mo ang tao, wala. Okay lang yapon. Though it hurts. Anong secret? Gugma. Kay plangga mo siya. Kabalugin niya ang mga nanay, yung may mga pasaway nga bata. Ang nabala nga pwede mo si paon sa balay, pwede ka nakagive up sa tao, pero hindi mo mahimo kay nga apalangga mo. And sometimes kakalipat ka na sa imo ka o galingon. Because that is what happened on Christ on the cross. He forgot about himself and fully loved us. Amen? That's the power of love. Are. Sino diri kabate? No. I always hear this sa mga wali. Where is your commitment? Nainabla nga Christian nga, nga for example, nag permaka mo sa commitment slip. Tapos, one to two months, okay pa? Ginaubra mo pa ang ginkamit ni mo sa ginoo. Pero after three months, wala na. And then, mawali ang pastor or kung sino man nga Christian, Hindi yung commitment mo. Di ba lang nag-commit nag ka sa ginoo? Sa labton mo na. Hmm. Amo na ba lang sekreto? Ang commitment ba lang ang sekreto sa pag-serve sa ginoo? Ang commitment ba lang ang sekreto sa pagpalangga sa ginoo? We always point people to their commitment as if we're making them guilty. Nag-commit ka, dapat obrahon mo na. 
as if that they have a lot of shortcomings sa Gino. Because commitment focuses on your own effort, on your own love towards God, and your own faithfulness towards God, and commitment fails because it is based on you. Chato na? Sino diri kagi pero makamitment slip? Pila ka bulan bersa nyo? Kaagi ko na sa una. Batian ko sa isa ka church. Nga may nagpapirma ang isa ka choir member. Ah, dapat, amun na nga itong commitment. Aga pa tadiri. Consistent kita. Amun na. Nagpirma pa. Kabalo ko mo sinuuna o wala na ka-attend? <laughs> yes, kabalo ka muna. Hindi ka sa nga commitment fails. Ang ginanamin dapat, ang appeal naton is not on our commitment but rather on God's love for us. Why? Are are ang qualities ang gugmaho. It always protects, it always trusts, it always hopes, and it always what? Perseveres. You see that? Nga aga pabilin kita sa ministry, nga consistent ka sa paghatag, nga consistent ka sa pagserve sa Gino, it is not your commitment. It is the love of God. Amen? That's the secret. That's why wala ko rin ka commitment, commitment sa inyo. Eh, naagyan ko na na. Go sure promise, cross my heart, patay doos, kaya't balay. Wala si may natabo. Love never fails. Now, Utod, I'm not against commitment. Please hear me out. I'm not against commitment. But here's the thing. Love empowers commitment and not the other way around. Amen? Dibatan ko ha? Love empowers commitment and not the other way around. Young people, if you want to serve God, you embrace God's love for you. That's the secret. That's the power. And this is where I will end. God wants us to love and live our lives freely, loving God and loving people without expecting a return without even thinking of yourself. Now, that's freedom. God wants us to know His love. Ambali Paul, may you have the power together with all the Lord's people to grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ. And to know this love that surpasses knowledge, that you may be filled to the measure of all of the fullness of God. Gusto mo mapunan sang ginoo. Anong sekreto? That you need to know the love of God in Christ. How high, how wide, how deep, and how long. Grabe. Now, ikadua, and God wants us to be known in love. He wants us, God wants us to know His love and to be known by His love. Are. John 13, 35, Ambali Jesus Christ. By this, the world will know me by your love for each other. Wow. Ambal sang isaka church leader. Ginpatin, dugugid ni ang building. Kaya nga, amuni ang ginsugo sang ginuo sa akon nga legacy para makilala ang ginuo sa building. Loh, gui. Gawin manas ba ipol? Nga nami ang sulakyan sang simbahan. Nga baskog ang ministry sang simbahan. Nga dako ang simbahan. Damo ang simbahan. Ano na? Ano nga ba sa Bible? Ano ba ni Jesus? By this, all will know that you are my disciples if you love one another. Amen? That's why I don't care about this material success. Okay, tayo kung kaplanggaanay kita. And usually, kanami kung ang gugma ang nagabind sa aton, tagsa-tagsa, even sa aton family, I tell you, kung gugma ang nagapatunga sa panimalay, bisan may pag-ilinaway, may forgiveness yapon, may pag-agwanta, may patience. Amen? That's the secret. Live your lives freely by God's love in Christ. I hope you experience that kind of freedom. Amen? Shall we pray?